Anyways, it was. Uh, we survived so our first sprint weekend. weekend. Let's start with the sort sprint. Of. Um, we we sure did. We did survive. Um, I I'm not quite ready to say I don't hate sprints, but I will publicly say that this sprint was not horrible. Yeah, I'm I'm also not not ready to say that we were wrong about the format because I don't think we are. Oh um, no, 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 no. We're not wrong. We're very right on the format. Um and, and I think that sprint weekends in general don't, you know, lead to better race weekends. Um that said, I'm really glad that they fixed the Park Fermi rules for sprint rate weekends. Oh my god. Because I originally know. you're you have one hour of practice and to pump the or the sprint and park fermi, for those of you who don't know, is when you're not, you know, you, you set up the car the way that you intend you for the race and you're not allowed to make any major setup changes. And so, um, so prior to this season, your park fermi your your setup choices go into park for me going into the sprint qualifying and stay through the end of the grand prix race on sunday now you have two different um park for may periods you have one at the beginning of sprint qualifying that ends after the sprint race and then it the second one begins at the beginning of regular qualifying and ends after the grand prix and i think that is a massively important improvement yeah, because last year it sucked. It was terrible. And every single sprint weekend, people were starting from the pit lane. Right, exactly. Um, but I, that said, I think the only reason why this sprint race itself was exciting this this time was because it rained in Q3 in the sprint qualifying, which led to a little bit of a mix-up in the grid. Um, but then, you know, after Max got to the front, he blew by Lewis and was up by 13 seconds after like nine laps. That's the thing, too, is, like, he won by 13 seconds in a sprint. In a 19-lap <laughs> race. Only 19 laps? Oh, I, yeah. you know, I'm just, he is very, very good. And I just, I really like, too, how I feel like he's kind of the jokic of F1. Like, this is his job. It's not his whole life. He mm -hmm. does a lot of other things. He really could care less. Like, yes, he wants to win, but he's like, meh, meh. Yeah. When I'm done, I'm done. Yeah, he's he's very yeah, when I'm done, like, I'm done. It is what it is. Like it's he was job. trying to drift on the last lap of the Grand Prix. Oh my god. I know. Yeah. I I love it. Um, so from that aspect, I can kind of, you know, appreciate him. And I know he's very good. But no, I think I think it really was interesting to have a super mixed up grid. Um, which goes to show like the reverse grid that everybody has talked about for sprints would be great, um, would be great and more entertaining. So that made me really think that about that possibility more just with this mixed up grid. Um, but yeah, the, the weather definitely played a factor. Yeah, it, it, it sure. did. And I, I think that a lot of, you know, I, I don't think anybody uh, expected Max to be that bad in the rain. And I know that, and not to like justify Max's poor qualifying in the sprint, but the, um, basically they coated the, the track surface going into this race because it hadn't been raced on. So that definitely threw a wrench in a lot of the other, you know, most of the team's, you know, plans on how, how that track was going to, you know, handle the cars. And obviously there was no grip, not even on those interests for a lot of people, even Lando who ended up getting pole reinstated um and then lewis i i think you know lewis is obviously a very talented driver in you know any condition um but he got a little lucky that qualifying worked out the way it did for him in the sprint oh for sure yeah so speaking of that coding because everyone was expecting them to resurface the track because it hadn't been used in so long but they didn't resurface it yeah I, I, think that's, um, I, I think that the teams all of the drivers pretty much got it got a decent handle on it you know, pretty well. Um, and it just, they, they didn't expect the rain um, to, to do what the rain did with, with it within, in that session. But I, I think that I'm glad that it didn't continue to rain throughout the rest of the weekend. Cause I, I think that it would have caused a lot more problems and we had enough problems in that Grand Prix that we didn't need any more right. related to the weather. 